Hi folks, welcome back to the workshop. Today we are gonna take a look at Larson's new Aurora Violin Strings. So these steel core strings are uh, Larson's uh, probably most affordable violin strings at the moment. Whoa, what? Real quick, super sorry, I mistakenly say in this video that Aurora violin strings are all steel core. That is not true. The E string is steel, the rest of them are synthetic core. I got a little confused. The cello versions of the Aurora strings are all steel core. So with that correction in mind, everything else uh, should be fine. So enjoy. Uh, and they promise that these are going to be good for both students as well as professionals. The, the idea being that this is going to be the one set of strings that you can just always fall back on. I'm very interested to see how they stack up to, you know, similar steel core strings as well as, you know, maybe a slightly more expensive synthetic core string. So, without further ado, why don't we uh, bring V in here and take a look at all of these strings. And there we have it, folks. Those were Larson's new Aurora violin strings. V, you know, what were your thoughts on uh, these strings in comparison to uh, specifically like the helicores? Well, how these compare to the helicores is, is they're a lot boomier. They really give you a lot of sound. I heard a lot of sound, a lot of resonance out of that violin. Yeah, for sure. They project really well. Um, on the flip side, they don't have quite as much dynamic range. I wasn't able to get as much of a piano sound out of these strings. Sure. Which, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing. Like, really, uh, I think these strings would probably be good for maybe like a soloist. You know, maybe like a student soloist. Oh, for sure. Like, these would be perfect for a student soloist who's just starting to get into the bigger concertos. They'd be perfect for that. Excellent. And as now I know that Larson claimed, you know, these these should be good for, you know, both uh, uh, students as well as professionals. But I think we're both agreed. I'm not so sure that these are, you know, really professional grade strings. Yeah, I would say the same. I think what these strings would need to do to really like work for professional players is you need to have more dynamic range and maybe a little bit more springiness to the string. I noticed that these strings gave a lot of pushback under my bow when I was playing. A little higher tension than yeah, the, uh, the helicords. Exactly. Okay. Which, you know, yeah, we're, we're saying all this, you know, this isn't necessarily a bad thing for these strings. You know, we don't have, you know, there aren't really uh, soloist student strings in existence right now. That's true. So, you know, if you're a, a student about to play a concerto or something, you know, these strings would actually be a very good option for uh, that performance. Yeah, absolutely. So that's all the time we have for today. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here on the workshop and we'll see you here next time.